Yes, sir. We are on Lake Kashi here with Daniel. What up, though? Wow, what a beautiful day this is. Completely calm. Sun is setting. We have about an hour. Got to find ourselves a vacant island so we can set up camp, do a little bit of fishing, and hopefully we'll catch some dinner. We head back towards that side. That's where we caught the fish, and it's just kind of further away from everybody. So if we go over there sure. on the east side of the lake, we should be fine. Punch it! Is that 44 to 10? It goes up, right? Okay. So the 44 is in the middle. It's a it's a gradual slope, right? That's a perfect spot to try to catch some walleye. I mean, that's this is the mainland. That's mainland. Yeah. But oh my god, that's freaking beautiful, man! Like look at that, look at that sun, dude. Can we just fish? <laughs> <laughs> I'll sleep on the boat just because. <laughs> this is the best time to catch the fish right now. Oh man. Even just casting up to one of these banks. Yeah. All right, the sun's probably this, warm. This, how far are we? We're in 10, 11 right now. Yeah, we can cut it. And then all over here is like, it really drops down from 12 to That's 20 to right 19. There. Yeah. Let's get fishing. Let's get oh man, I'm, I'm just enjoying this right now. The view is a beautiful. It's, this is incredible. Look at that. Completely calm. Not a single person out here. No, no bugs either. All the bugs are gone. Woo! It's 10, 10 or like 20 on that side and 8 to 6 on that side. I'm riding the contour line right now. 19, going up. Raccoons? What? What'd you say? 19. Raccoons. <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> Seventeen. This would be the spot if there was one. Twelve. Wow, it comes up quick. Yeah. Water temp's actually seventeen here. A lot warmer than uh, the river. Well, it's shallow. The sun's been hitting this all day. True. And it, and it'd probably be warmer today over there too. Yeah, that's yeah. Because it was windy and cold that day from what I remember. It was only like 12, 13. As the evening wind down with some mishaps regarding the fishing line, we decided to call it and started looking for an island. Found a little bit of an island. We're gonna camp. It's not actually like a, more like a peninsula. And on the ground here, it's a bit of dry moss. So we're gonna camp on here. Obviously we can't have a fire, but at least uh, we got level ground and set up camp. Boat stocked right here. Uh, pretty good spot. Got these steaks from a Korean store that delivered to our house because of the pandemic. And uh, the, these are looking good. Can't wait to marinate this and throw it on the grill. You know, this is the first thing that's ever been in that pan. Really? Yep. You never cooked anything else? I just seasoned it before before I left. <laughs> okay. Pretty good better. Check that out. Just finished dinner, gonna call it a night. It's kind of scary over here because uh, the little critters crawling right next to my tent. But just hope that they're small guys and no bears or coyotes or anything around. And hopefully we'll have a good night's sleep. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys, 6 a.m. Gonna do some more fishing this morning and maybe make some breakfast first. Got some eggs and a soup. Let's see what it looks like outside. Cause duck on a pretty nice spot yesterday. Look at that.
boat is nice and docked still. I was kind of afraid that uh, it might float away or maybe the, the tide might have came in and would have messed us up, but seems all right. Ooh, That's strong. Sunny side up? No? Scrambled? Well done. We got a beaver here. He's pretty big too. It's another beautiful day. It is completely calm and we got our buddy Victor coming up right now to meet us. Lots of bugs everywhere though. We're gonna head out and uh, find some drop-offs and uh, see if we can catch anything there. next few seconds took a turn for the worst. I lost the connection to the drone and it had a mind of its own. I think it was trying to find my controller and make its way back, but it didn't account for all the obstacles in the way and flew straight into the tree. To make matters worse, it looked like it hit every single branch on the way down and landed upside down into a patch of leaves. I hit something. So was it on the ground? Yeah, flipped over on the ground. Okay, when's the last time you saw it? Like, what Oh, it was somewhere here. What, what can you see right now? It's just on the ground. You see the ground? Yeah. Were you, were you trying to come across the water or are you going over the trees? I was going across water, but then I lost control or I lost signal. Unfortunately, my GoPro died during this rescue and I didn't realize, but at least I did salvage my drone or what was left of it anyways. This was the aftermath of the destruction. Luckily, I only broke a few props and the drone was still working. So went to sale and bought the Berkeley Flicker Shad 7. Gonna try this lure out. On this point right now, it's about 20 feet deep and it goes up to about nine. So we'll see if there's uh, any fish at the drop off. How it's done, sir. <laughs> it looks like it's a walleye, buddy. Here, 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 here. Is that? Oh, that's a smallie. Come on, Victor, get oh. in the bag, bro. <laughs> This guy. Oh, <laughs> That's how it's done. Five dollars. No question there. Holy shit. Uh pass me some pliers. Uh yeah. <laughs> This guy be like, that'll be five dollars, please. <laughs> five dollar pliers. You sure you didn't make an appointment with the fish? <laughs> <laughs> Meet me here. <laughs> There's two dollar fifty cents in for you. <laughs> hey, that's a pretty good fish, I guess. Yeah, it's not bad. Pound and a half. Good fucking fish, bro. <laughs> <laughs> better than what we got. <laughs> There's a cove and there's a tree blocking the sun right under it. I was like, that's money right there. After that one fish, we didn't have much luck for the rest of the day. The sun was blaring down on us on an extremely hot day and we decided to call it. So spend the whole afternoon out and haven't caught anything. We're roasting it's because it's freaking hot out here. It's like either 10 degrees or freaking 30. There's like no in between. I haven't got any bites all afternoon and so we're gonna go home until the next one see you guys later
Peace.